started in the operational area, and with it normally comes the strong possibility of enemy infiltration. The troops on the border have to be prepared and ready to counter any such enemy movements. At some of the bases, this means that Christmas will be celebrated on other days, while at others, most of the troops will be celebrating tomorrow. But even so, not everyone can be having a good time at their bases, and patrols will go out as always. For these men too, provision has been made. If they are near enough to base, a Christmas meal will be taken to them. Some bases will provide full Christmas meals and church services for the men on patrol duty on Christmas Day, on the 26th. Everywhere we went, appetizing Christmas meals had been planned to make the day special for the guys so far away from home. Our first stop was the Marines base at Wanella on the Zambezi, just a stone's throw away from Katimo Melilo in Caprivi East or Sector 70. After the 1978 bombardment of Katimo Melilo by Swapo, Wanella became a test base. Many bases in the operational area have been modeled on Wanella and its successful bunkers and fortifications. Wanella is situated on the border between Zambia and Namibia. From this base, the Marines patrol the border on foot for a short distance in a westly direction and for more than 100 kilometers downriver in an easterly direction up to Mpalala Island where there is a smaller base. The patrol route then swings southwest down the Chobe River. River patrols are done on Friedenberg fish trawlers and rubber dinghies. The patrols are done on a regular basis and a round trip is done to Mpalela Island and back to Wanella. Like everywhere else in the operational area, the boys live for news from home and letters are invaluable and a highly desired commodity. as the crow flies, lies Inanna, the base for 5-4 battalion. In this 1,700 square kilometer area, which encompasses the duties of 5-4 battalion in Ovambo, there are no tar roads, and the dirt roads have to be swept with mine detectors regularly. Twice a month, a supply convoy comes to Inanna from Ondangwa, and this necessitates thorough sweeps. Behind me is a barometer of kilometers walked by troops who cleared out the week before last. As you can see, they covered more than 4,000 kilometers. The new troops at the base are about to show us how it's done. During the past year, not a single mine has been sprung, but the regular sweeping acts as a deterrent to terrorists. Fifteen men are normally called on to do the job. Just to give you an idea of the distances that have to be covered, the road between Inanna and Ngongo is 108 kilometers long. Regular foot patrols are also sent out from Inanna base. Inanna Base is picturesque. And when the troops have performed their duties, they can relax and play volleyball in a variety of other games. Christmas preparations were started some days ago, and the men at Inanna can look forward to a pleasant day tomorrow. Ons beplan om die mensen wat in die basis is die dag uh, lekker kerstmaal te gee in die vorm van een buffet eten. Waar ons nou allemaal gemakkelijk saam kan verkeer. Ons gaan kerstliederen sing. Ons gaan natuurlijk die dag begin op die normale dier die dominee wat van sy kerkdienst gaan gee. Daarna gaan ons maar gesamentlik verkeer gemakkelijk die dag doorbring. En uh, ons gaan ook dan natuurlijk vir die mense in die buitenbasis, soos wat jy weet het ek een paar buitenbasis, ek gaan ons die self te my doen. Ek gaan ook natuurlijk vroeg die ochtend met hulle uh, communikeer door middel van die radio, 
die kerstboodschap ook maar naar hulle kant toe oordra, met gezien de kerstfeest en zo so aan. Die mensen in die veld gaan ons diezelfde meer doen. Dat is ongelukkig zo so dat ons moet troepen in die veld heen, die lopend. Ons kan niet uh, die oorlog laten staken voor die dag niet. Daar is nu maar van die mannen wat, wat moet gaan ontplooien. Uh, ik zal moet hulle ook communiceren of hulle gezien de kerstfeest toe wens. Ik zal natuurlijk proberen om hulle zo so goed mogelijk naast aan de kerstdag terug te brengen naar die basis toe. Uh, om dan hulle ook een gedeelte van die kerstfeestmaal te laten nuttig. En als het moeilijk is en die mensen is niet te ver uit nie, zal ik zelfs voertuigen uitsturen naar hulle toe met een beetje van die, die smakelijkheden van kerstdag om ook dan voor hulle dit oor te draaien. What do you plan for Christmas Day? Uh, we plan quite a lot here. Yeah. Um, roast leg of mutton, roast beef, smoked pork, uh, pork assorted cold meats, the rice salad, carrot salad, french salad and potato salad. And um, we're going to have trifles, Christmas pudding, jelly, ice cream and we're going to have a fruit punch afterwards. That's quite a lot. You're probably going to spend hours in the kitchen. Yes, we started Monday already. It's quite a lot of work. And then we'll rest with the guys on Christmas Day. And it gets quite hot in here. How do you survive? Um, normally, by the afternoon, we put on short pants and t-shirts, and but it helps a lot. But it gets very hot in here. Special Christmas celebrations have been planned everywhere. Here is Lieutenant Francois Smit, the commanding officer at Wenella. It's a really good drug program that is going to I can coordinate it. We plan our cash and the cash boom. Waar ons dan die mannen pakjes vallen is al ideaal, wat goed gunstig lukt voor onze skinkers die die vloot dames verenigen. En die volgende ochtend vliegen ons hier op een eiland toe, als gevolg van die feit dat onze peloton ontplooi het op die eiland. En daar zullen ons dan hulle pakjes aan hulle oorhandig. Uh, pas nadat ons teruggekeerd het, uh, het ons een kerkdienst, waar ons onmiddellijk ons cash eet is alleen. En uh, daarna beplan ons om voor die mannen wat uh, op patrouille is, hulle pakjes in hulle cash eet is uit te vat. Na een tijdelijke basis waar je een zou onttrekken. Brons, calamari, biersvlees, varkbouwen, skaalbouwen, twee of drie slaaien. Uh, die dames zal dit voor die tijd voorbereiden. En uh, dan zal die gezinnen op kerstdag zelf dan samen die troepen eet. Ons krijgen dan die officieren en onderofficieren om voor die troepen dan die opskerpwerk te doen, zodat ze thuis als moeilijk voelen en informele als, als moeilijk. Here at the Sector 10 workshop in Oshakati, Christmas Day will be treated like any other Sunday, except that the Christmas meal will be something very special indeed. The men will be on standby though, and if an airland is damaged or breaks down, they will have to come in and fix it. These men are on 24 hours standby, but their regular hours are from 7 in the morning till 6 in the evening. They work mainly on the reparation of 90 and 60 millimeter elands which are used for the protection of Oshakati and for armoured patrols. Behind me is the primary surgical centre for Kazavax in Sector 1-0. Here at Ondangwa, all serious surgical problems are attended to, up to and including primary attention and resuscitation. If any more medical attention is needed, the patients are flown to one and two military hospitals in Pretoria and Cape Town. The bed capacity is 20 and occupation is kept as low as possible so that possible large Kazavaks can be handled efficiently. Patients are normally flown here in Kudus, Pumas, Alouettes or Dakotas or brought in by road in field ambulances. Personnel at the South African Air Force Base at Ondangwa are on duty 24 hours a day. The pilots can go out on missions at a moment's notice and they can be airborne within minutes. Of their time waiting for war and in their waiting they often forget that there is a war until the blood starts flowing and they are jerked back to face the harsher realities of the border war the pilots i am told are the only men in the air force who face the horrors of war regularly when they go out on kazavax medics go along to tend to the wounded but the troops stay at base and their greatest worry is being away from home 
and parlor fighter planes, Puma helicopters for support in Kazovacs, Alouettes for frontline air support operations, as well as Dakotas, Bosbox for visual reconnaissance, Kudus and Cessnas are stationed. But it is not only at the border that special Christmas celebrations will be held. At all bases in the Republic where there are troops, ships, hospitals and aircraft personnel, thousands of troops will be treated to their ship's best. But now for some messages from our boys in the operational area. Yes, I'd like to say hi and a Merry Christmas to Angelique Doyle and send all my love. Uh, it's Christmas message. Um, I send firstly to my family, say hello to my family in Cape Town, and to all my buddies who are sitting on the beach now probably, and especially to, to Laura in Cape Town. I would like to thank my mother and father for the first time in the new year. I would like to wish you all the best for the new year. What is your name? Johan Dommel. Do you have a Christmas message for people at home? Oh, yeah, sure. I'm just going to say hi to my folks at home. I wish them a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. All the best for the new year, and I love them and miss them very much. I just want to say hi to my parents and for the new year. I just want to say hi to my parents and for the new year. I can only say hi to my parents and for the new year. Miss you all the year? Yes, we miss you all. I'd like to say hi to my mom and dad down in Scottsboro. And to wish my sister uh, good luck for the finals and hope she passed. I'd also say hi to my grand and grams who in Richmond wish them happy Christmas. And to my girlfriend, Lee in Coxstead. Thank you. I'd like to my ouders and my friends to wish them a happy Christmas. And also my brother and my sister. And then a friend in the Kaap. I hope they will have a nice vacation. And I think they will. Thank you. I'm proud from the sun from Lenga Sikbe. I'd like to wish my parents in Pretoria a happy Christmas and a Merry New Year. And also to all my friends in Wanmo, uh, just keep well and enjoy Christmas. That's it. And have any girlfriends? Uh, no, at the moment she's also in Pretoria. She's a CEO at Wanmo. Uh, her name is Petru Bosov. Uh, Petru, uh, I hope you enjoy your Christmas and uh, keep well. Good morning, I'm Freddie Udingo. And i uh, just like to send a special message to my wife, sitting at home. I'm doing okay up here. We're eating well, living okay, working damn hard. Ma, I'd like to get to see you too sometime soon. As soon as I get out, we'll make a plan. And love you, just enjoy your Christmas. 